Hey everyone, welcome back to more Storyteller! Let's continue to try to get this crown at the end of the book today. Last time we finished off chapters 1 to 4. Fairly straightforward most of it, I think, except there was one level, I think it was back in chapter 2, that I really got stumped on for a bit. Let's see. Beauty. Curse. Deceit. Competitor. Inclusive. A curse is lifted. Oh, we have completely different people. A witch, Snowy, and Prince. Snow White. Curse? Well, a curse being lifted is probably a kiss. They're just kissing now. <laughs> There's no reason for the kissing. But they're kissing. But there has to be a curse to begin with. Which means the witch sees Snow White. Oh! But now the prince doesn't want to kiss a frog. Is it because he's a man? But... If the prince was the one that was cursed... No, okay, no. The princess still doesn't want to do it. Mm, well, we have one more thing here. Ah, she's not gonna just go around kissing random people. You gotta tell her what's going on first. Makes sense. Deceit. Prince saves Tiny. Tiny. Prince. Prince saving Tiny as in kissing... <laughs> Something like that? Well, which can you please curse Tiny? And then... Oh, what? No, the prince probably won't do it willingly. You gotta make him- you gotta trick him into thinking it's the princess or something, probably. Because what's gonna end up happening is... We're gonna have the witch curse two people. Yes! <laughs> make the prince think that the frog is... Tiny? Or, uh, the- uh, snowy? And there you go. A little bit, I mean, that is deceit. <laughs> Competitor. Which becomes Mirror's favorite? Mirror's favorite. Oh, look at you, witch. Look a little bit fancy today. Cauldron, forest, mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Which has to become the Mirror's favorite? Right now it's snowy, probably? Mm hmm. So maybe I'll put this one at the very end here. Does this witch still curse people? No, they're just kind of staring at each other. Witch. Oh, oh, this makes you become... ugly. It never tricked the mirror to begin with, though. So we have to somehow get the witch to look like Snowy, maybe. Do we have to kill Snowy first? <laughs> Cauldron. You just look scared of the cauldron. Oops. Um, the forest? But you guys don't seem to be doing anything in the forest either. You're just staring at each other. Oh, I probably need to revert her. Right, so that she can become the creepy old witch again, which makes her cast a spell. She's- the, but the mirror still likes the frog. Ah! But maybe we can also turn the witch into a frog so that the mirror doesn't know. It's kind of like earlier, right? <laughs> it's a little blushing frog. But how would we... What just happened? Witch? Oh, the cauldron means you're drinking something from the cauldron, right? Or eating. So you become the old witch again, you turn the princess into a frog. The frog is still the mirror. Is this needed? It's not needed. Only four panels. And then you eat the cauldron again. Eat the contents of the cauldron again to become pretty. What? Actually, I kind of don't get that. Why does the mirror... How come... Because we tried this earlier, right? Like, if we try it again, like this. Wait, no, 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 the whole thing. Because I don't want to mess it up. Right, the mirror loves the princess to begin with. Actually, she's wearing like a nice dress and all that too, but... I'm just kind of wondering because... Hmm... 
Did she eat the princess? So there's a part of the princess in her or like... Huh. Because the mirror actively... I feel like we need to understand this if we want to move forward. What's the principle that's at play here? Like, did turning the princess into a frog even have anything to do with it? It does! Okay, so... Turning Snowy into a frog... And then... I'm just gonna have to assume that we ate her. Is that what happened? Because it looks like it. <laughs> Inclusive. The mirror praises everyone. Ooh, now we really have to understand it. Peachy and Haiti. Cliff, mirror. Froggy. Okay, you love Peachy right now to begin with. Only Peachy. That's sad. I'll put these two down here for now. The cliff. Peachy dies. Peachy stands at a cliff. What does Peachy standing at a cliff have to do with it? Okay, we have we can have two people stand at the cliff. What? So? <laughs> so? Are one of you gonna die or what's going on here? Is anything changing? What does the cliff mean, though? It doesn't seem to particularly mean anything to me. I'm not seeing anything changing. Huh. Yeah, because if, according to the last one, it seems like the principle behind the mirror praising someone new is that maybe the pre-existing person has to go away. Go away as in they die or something, so I'm hoping we can kill Peachy. <laughs> but how do you kill Peachy? Is maybe the problem here because the cliff... Can you jump off a cliff, Peachy? Does anybody react in any certain way? Ah! Okay. Hold up, so if this Haiti gets mad because of the mirror, then maybe what Haiti will do is push Peachy down the cliff. Oh my goodness. Right, so take this one away then. And then the mirror is not a very... It's not someone who cares about justice. They only care about who the prettiest one is. But the frog doesn't hate anybody. And the frog's not gonna push anyone off a cliff. And even if we could, we don't have enough frames anyway. No, this just leads to... Anger. But can I change who the first person the mirror likes is? The frog is just sad here. get one. Okay, oh, Peachy... Peachy's a ghost now. The frog doesn't care too much. The mirror is scared. How do we kill Haiti without Peachy to push him off? Haiti is just happy. The frog won't kill. Oh, He's just upset, but he won't kill frogs. He's not a frog killer for no reason. Let's see... The frog... Because the frog isn't hateful, maybe we have to do this in a certain way, but the mirror already decided on liking Peachy to begin with. That's a difficult thing. <clears throat> Oh! <laughs> of course, Peachy mad about Haiti killing. Okay, frog is best frog. Everyone loves a frog, didn't kill anybody, didn't hurt anybody, just a little frog. Who wants to get some praise, that's all. The manor. 
Ooh, a murder weapon fingerprints innocence. Butler's Rampage. A butler? Duke? Duchess. Gun. Ballroom. The butler kills everybody. The butler kills the duke. Kills the duchess. Why? No reason. He's just a madman. Duke feels relief. Duke feels relief. There's only one scene here. It's gotta be the same scene. What the heck? Hey, where's my gun? Where's my gun? Put it back. Oh, okay, my gun's here. <laughs> okay. So we can put it back. We can put the gun back. Fingerprints. Detective arrests murderer. Murderer can be anybody. So probably detective arresting the murderer. Let's say it's the butler because that's that's the the default now. Oh, because the butler can touch the gun. It the name of this one was fingerprints, right? So you kill and then the butler, oh no no, the detective examines the fingerprints. Is that not enough evidence? No, because we need to, you need to bring back the gun first so the detective can look at the fingerprints. Yes. So the title, the title of the story helps too. Innocence. Detective arrests innocent. Okay. Duchess goes to touch the gun. Oh, okay. Butler touches the gun. Butler puts it down. Duke. Oh, everyone has different reactions towards the gun. Okay, so... The Duke touches the gun. And then... The Butler kills the Duke. Duchess with it. Why are you so hateful? These are your employers, I don't know why. And then... The detective can look at the fingerprints again. Oh, no, 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 no. Killing happens first. No, 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 no. What did I just do? So like this. And then the Duke touches the gun. And then... Duke gets arrested. It has to work in this way because everyone reacts differently to the gun. Hmm. Crown Intrigue, Chapter 7. Rivals, Rescue, Usurpers, Suitor. Four deaths. There's one knight, one baron, but four deaths? Oh, because revival. What the hell? Why is the baron- Oh my god. The baron is so hateful. Yeah, and then the Baron gets revived. Do it again. Oh my god, how is he back alive? Well, that's... That's three deaths. Ah, because as a ghost, he can still scare people. <laughs> as we saw earlier. Rescue. The Queen marries. The Knight? That would be... spicy. I love me! I'm not gonna marry anyone. Oh, because it's not the king, it's the queen and the baron. <laughs> you only love yourself. Not if I kidnap you first. Stockholm Syndrome. Eh, 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 who do you love now? Oh. The knight should come rescue. And then. Oh, I thought it meant she loved the Baron. Now you can get married. Do 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 do. All right. Usurpers. Everyone sits on the throne. Okay, Baron sits. Oh, wait, the Queen sits on the throne to begin with, and then the Baron is hateful and kills the Queen. Sits on the throne himself. New King. And then the Knights like, what the hell, man? No. <laughs> no! Um... Okay. So, the Baron just dies, 
And we need a new king, so the knight becomes a king. Even though he's kind of sad about the queen. Doesn't know what's happened, but... No kingdom can live without a king. Or a ruler. The queen marries. Again? Well, the queen has to marry the baron. How does that even work? Can we do it like this? <laughs> and then a disguise. Oh! Okay, so... You can kidnap the queen as... As a dra- Ah! As a dragon? But can you come rescue? Like, take off the disguise again? And then you make him think... Yeah, and then you get married. Oh! The queen marries a fearsome dragon! Oh! We can do it. Yeah, that's all we had to do, because we just have to change the costume so that it's switched out. <laughs> the dragon is the one that's rescuing the queen. Sweet. Alright, fantastic! <laughs> that was, a uh, tricky in... in the concept, but execution really just means shifting one frame. Secrets. It's like a fingerprint. Red-handed. Detective arrests murderer. Okay, it's always the butler that's gonna be the murderer, because he picks up the freaking gun every time. Did someone see it? So you don't need fingerprints this time, because you saw it. Oh, oh, oh. Detective sees it happen, and then arrests. Thief! Butler gets fired. For touching the gun? But not necessarily killing somebody, maybe? Oh, oh, oh. The Duke witnesses. Oh, but the witness is only in the ballroom. So he sees the butler holding the gun and playing with it. And then... The butler probably has to put back the gun because otherwise he'll kill the Duke. And Duke gets... <coughs> Mega mad. Okay. Smooth sailing. Revenge. Spouse gets vengeance. Vengeance. Well, it means somebody has to die to begin with. Which means, again, the butler is touching the gun. Ah. The Duchess sees. Sees the death directly. Butler puts the gun back. Duchess picks up the gun. Now you're dead. Nice and easy. Report. This one has an extra one. Duchess gets Butler arrested. Gets Butler arrested. It doesn't say if the Butler is the one who did it. Well, Duchess probably sees something. Sees Butler touching the gun again. Does someone have to die for the Butler to be arrested? Are you gonna kill the Duchess? Oh my god! Well, we can do this right here, right? Right, and then... Oh my god! Detective! I saw my butler with a gun! Only the detective can arrest the... butler. But the duke isn't home. Oh. So the duke doesn't die. Now we just have... the duchess saying, Oh my god, my butler has a gun! But it's not like he killed anyone, so he can't... Um, let's see. Oh, it's okay. We just have the detective look as well. Can we? Mm. No, have everyone, have everyone see. 
No, 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 you gotta pick up the gun. Oh, they're both... None of them are seeing now. Can you just do that? The detective can't be a witness. Is that what's happening? Oh, it has to be directly after it. We don't even need the Duchess in that case, do we? Well, the butler can kill the Duchess. Duchess- oh, but it, no, no, no. The Duchess has to get the butler arrested. The butler is getting arrested, but the Duchess is dead, which is not fulfilling it. How about like... Oh! The Duchess wasn't just randomly killed by the butler. She had a reason to be killed by the butler, and I guess that's what counts for them. Getting butler arrested. Justice! Treason. So sometimes we've been seeing the same characters come back. Sometimes they skip chapters. Treason, unforgiven, amnesia, misfortune. They're all very... Ooh, all of these titles. Usurper dies. Hold up. Justice? No, treason. Usurper dies. We have a queen to begin with. She is the current reigning ruler. But she gets captured by the Baron. And the Baron puts himself on the throne. The knight finds out. And then... Freaking execute the Baron. Oh, but someone's gotta be arrested first, I guess. Like that. Oh, no one is... wait. What does that mean? Let's see. Baron kidnaps Queen. He becomes the king. The knight finds out. And tells him that it's the Baron. So this guy... Ends up- can we just execute him directly here? Why can't we just execute him directly? He's on the throne. Only a king can execute someone. Oh. So the knight needs to become the king then. No, because... He wants the queen to do it. Right, okay, I see. Because the knight's actually righteous. He doesn't want to steal the crown. By the hand of the knight! Hmm. No marriage here. So maybe... Okay. The Baron... Usurper dies. These two have to happen because someone has got to do the usurping first. By the hand of the knight. But the knight won't become king for as long as the queen is around. What happens if we take this one out? No. By the hand of the knight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, you can do that. That's that's still possible. But the, the problem is that the knight won't take the freaking crown for as long as the queen is alive. Ah. So we need to have the Baron execute the queen first. Oh my goodness, that's messed up. And then the knight decides... Yes, he has got to execute the Baron after becoming king. There you go. It's a life full of anger though. But we had to do it for justice. Justice for our ruler, our queen. Knight loses his head, oh no. The knight kidnapping the queen? No, it doesn't happen. Yeah, because he's righteous. But then... Well, the queen's not even upset. The queen's not upset. But you won't do it, right? The knight loses his head means that it has to happen by a guillotine. There is revival. Kidnap, throne, execute, death, revive. It's only two people here. No. <laughs>
Huh. You would think it's easy because there's only two set people, but not quite. So we basically have to make it so that the queen, some for some reason, hates the knight enough to kill him. Well, one reason is if he tries stealing the throne, I guess, which he doesn't. He doesn't. There's revival around here too. She's alive, she doesn't need to be revived. Okay. The knight is righteous, but the queen might not be. So look. She... She dies. So the king becomes a new... Uh, the knight becomes a new king. Still thinking of the old queen. You get revived again. And then who becomes... Who becomes the... Right, she's angry at the knight now because she thinks he stole her crown. Which he did, but only because you were dead. But can you become... <laughs> you have to lose a head though, it's not just kidnapping. Well, we probably need the anger, though. This kind of anger. But only if she becomes the... the ruler again can... she use the guillotine. Are you willing to give up your throne? You can't have two people on the scene. The knight lo yeah, this has to be- this is the end goal. She has to become the queen again. Through the knight dying? We don't have enough frames for this! Okay, she can take back the throne if she kidnaps the knight, because he's missing. But I need one more frame here. Can I just take this one away? Yes. That one was not necessary. There you go then. Oh, that's brutal. He only took the throne because you were dead. You're so spiteful. Is that really justice? I don't know about that. Amnesia. We haven't had this one for a long time. We had it like in one level a while ago. The execution. Well, the queen loves herself. We know this already. The baron can kidnap the queen. The other way doesn't work, huh? Yeah. The baron kidnaps the queen. And then, there's no throne here. So the Baron can't become the king. Who are you getting married to? Literally nobody. Someone forgets something. Well, it's, it's gotta end with somebody getting executed, right? Which is probably the kidnapper. But how do we get her out? It's gotta be the Baron who forgot. And then he like, unkidnaps her. Yes. And then the Queen is like, what the hell are you doing? Execution of the Baron. Oh, accidentally did this one. But we need it of the Queen as well. Do we need both of them? Of the Baron, of the Queen. There is no throne transferal here. So how can we execute the queen? Because only the ruler can execute somebody. Oh, <laughs> that ain't happening. Oh! If the baron and the queen get married, then the Baron becomes a king. Does that work? I, I don't even know of keeping this... Alright, so the problem is they won't get married right now because the Queen is self-centered. Which means if we can give amnesia to the Queen. No, 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 no. <laughs> she might be forgetful, but she still hates the man. Doesn't work. 
What do we make her forget, though? We gotta pass off the throne somehow. Otherwise, no execution's getting done. How do I get the throne? He wonders. Oh! Bye. Okay, so you gotta make the queen like <laughs> this guy first. What if he... He just stares at her. So you've gotta forget. And then... The queen also has to forget. Right, because unless if we do that, she's still angry. And then they get married. And then the Baron can execute the queen. Which is messed up, because you guys just got married. <laughs> Misfortune. Queen suffers four tragedies. Even though there's only three people here. Okay, the queen gets kidnapped. Actually, can you do it like that? No, the knight is so nice. Tragedy number one. Okay, what are the four different tragedies? Let's see. Getting kidnapped. Losing the throne, maybe. Getting executed. And then what? Dying? Well, dying is getting executed, right? Where is the four different types of tragedy to begin with? I'm not sure. But if she needs to experience more tragedies, we gotta bring her out first. <laughs> but now the Baron... Right, the Baron becomes the king. The queen can get executed here. That's two tragedies. Oh, if the Baron executes the knight. Watching her lover die. So getting kidnapped, losing the throne, her husband dying, and then she herself dying. That's four tragedies. Justice. Has justice been served? No. No, the, the Baron just took over the throne. That's no good. The king, noxious, spite, promotion, Machiavelli. What's going on here? These like dead pigs or something? The king, noxious. Cyclic, mutually toxic love affair. They start out loving each other. And then they fight. I'm getting carried away by the background music. And then they forget that they fought? So they... They love each other. The king also forgets, so they love each other again. And then they fight again. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's probably what a lot of relationships are like. <laughs> Actual relationships. Spite. Double execution. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Execute them all. Execute them all. Where the king takes revenge. Oh! They won't cheat on each other. It has to be both of them with the king. Where the king takes revenge? So I guess... Ah, I see, because, yeah... The queen kills the maid, and then the king executes the queen. Double execution. Never said it had to be queen and king. Rags to royalty! What was this one? Promotion. King, queen, maid. Okay, so... King has an affair with a maid. Does that even need to happen? King executes the queen. No. Can the queen get married to... the maid, is what I wonder? Because she loves herself. Because we can probably make it so that... Yeah, the queen executes the king. But she still won't love the maid. They're just angry now because they only love the king. So it has to be the king marrying the maid that makes it so... That the maid becomes royalty? 
Oh. <laughs> Even though you're the cheater. You're the damn cheater here. But he also is unwilling to execute the queen. What if there were like multiple affairs? Oh, because you see this, do you become willing to execute the queen? No. That's actually pretty good. There has to be a wedding involved. The final one has to be this wedding here, right? But if... I'm just thinking here, we can probably make it so the queen executes either of them. But the only person- okay, rags to royalty has to be talking about the maid. Can the king also die and then like, they meet up in ghostly form? They're like ghostly lovers now. Oh, there's a kidnapping, which I didn't use. Oh, that's probably necessary then. Oh... Let's see. This won't happen. This won't happen. The king is soft. But the queen is not. The maid gets kidnapped. Or maybe the king gets kidnapped. That works as well. So he stops becoming king. No, he's kidnapped. And then if he gets executed as well... Then they can have their little ghostly wedding. But he stopped being king here though, that's the problem. Ah. Oh. Then... Can the maid... Right, now the king is angry enough to want to execute the queen. And then they can finally get married, and we have a new queen! There you go! Machiavelli! What does this one mean? Baron rules alone. Baron rules alone. There's a cliff where we can kill people. Okay. So there's gotta be a transferal of the royalty first. The crown. Which is also what we're trying to get. The crown. Okay, the Baron can kill the Queen, and then they can get married. They only like each other. But then the Baron can kill the maid? I think the King must be just super heartbroken now. No, I only like women! The King only likes women! Okay, fine, I'll kill you instead. Oh, God! Ah! Now the Baron and the Maid oh, are the new King and Queen. And then, the Baron kills the Maid. There you go. That's awful! Damn though, but if you actually were able to pull off this plan, you're some kind of, um, scheming mastermind. I would assume this kind of plan takes multiple years to carry out too. People don't move on that fast, do they? And depending on if there were sons and daughters and other relatives in the equation, maybe it won't be that simple.